But Chishi, let's let's talk a little bit about right, let's you. Let's talk a little bit about you, your story. So I want people to get to know who you are. So guys, so we have your. I mean, we just kick things off. We're just I, fucking talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm just, you know, uh, but <clears> we have here um, Willie and Lara, right? Yes, Miami sir. Miami Looks Detailing, right? Well, yeah, man. Actually, Miami Looks Detail Supply. Okay, well, we're going that way. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Way, way, no. so, I've evolved. <laughs> for, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, this guy was my inspiration from day one. It was one of the first persons that actually put a book in my hands. And I believe, you know, self-development, self-growth and all of that is the foundation, the start of anything great. You can't build big things if you don't have the right, you know, mindset and the right foundation. And this guy put the first book in my hands. So I'm really happy to have him here and to be the first one. I said, if we're doing this, you got to be the first <laughs> podcast, bro. You got to be the first one because, for sure. <clears throat> bro, that book changed it all for me. How we met, and, and I remember, you know, we met, and we I didn't have anything to offer you. No value at all. Bro, sometimes sometimes the most impactful thing happened on the most unexpected times, right? The 10X rule, I was listening. Bro, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Like, when you know when you, know, when you get goosebumps, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and then I listened to that. Mm-hmm book and i was almost done and the most random person i know in my life sends me a clip a six minute and 36 second clip okay to be exact of steve harvey mm -hmm. talking about jumping off the cliff of life yeah that's what i had in my job i almost quit my job that day i remember i want them to know holy about that shit h&m yes sir i remember yes sir i almost quit that day my wife is like don't so do let's, it. Yeah, let's take it back a little bit right <clears throat> let's take it back a little bit um you were working at h&m yeah. Right. Uh, you were heading that area. I remember something. You were. I had a certain role, so I, I I went to different stores and stuff like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What made you take the, the the you know the chance on yourself and I start washing cars? Bro, true story. I always wanted to start my own business. Okay. Didn't know what it was gonna be. Didn't know. I want, always wanted to have some type of story. Didn't know what it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the main problem I had that a lot of people have is the contemplation. I never did it because I didn't, I didn't think it was possible, right? I'm like, oh, I'm comfortable. I'm getting a check, this and that. So I got hired. I started working through H&M through a third-party vendor, right? Okay. I was in the security world. And I got a new boss. Then I was going to eventually say something that was going to get me fired, for sure. <laughs> Non-negotiable. So I told my wife, hey, I need to get a, a pressure washer, a water tank, this and that, just to get a part-time job to like get me by in case I get fired until I get another job. Mm -hmm. That was the original plan. I told everybody, you know, I told my brother, yo, I'm thinking about starting this business. He's like, bro, that's like slave work. What are you going to do this? Da, 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 da. Yeah, like a month later, you started a business that lasted like two months. And eventually one thing led to another, bro. I'm like, fuck, like I'm making money. It wasn't nothing crazy. But yeah, I started, I started seeing in. the potential, mm. but at the same time, I started, re, you know, educating myself. Bro, let me tell you something. In the beginning, listening to all these audiobooks and reading, that was the most boring shit I've ever done. It's new. But I had to learn how to brainwash myself, mm. right? And I started realizing that I wasn't really valued. Not as a, as a you know, when you have a job, realistically, bro, you're not, you're, you're disposable. You're yeah, replaceable. Yeah, yeah. And bro, one thing to another, bro, I'm like, oh, cool. I got to a point in time I told my wife, hey, um, I think I'm going to have to quit like one day. Because business, <laughs> business is, I still have my truck. B uh -huh. Business started, you know, I'm like, and she's like, can you do it? I'm like, I have no fucking idea. I might know that if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. And then eventually when it got to a point in time, okay, that I'm quitting my job. Mm -hmm. She's like, can you do it? And I'm like, there's only one way to fucking find out. You know what Boom. I mean, bro? No plan B. Nah, bro. <laughs> Fuck. September 21st, 2016 is when I quit. It was my last day. Okay. I got into my van. That's when you got the van. When you quit your job. Or do you get it? No, a, I, bro. Before? I drove a van for like six, seven months before I quit my job. Mm. When this I is all the you, plan. You were already full time, I think. Nah. No? <laughs> okay. I was acting like I was. You like, ah, oh, I got it, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 